Now, let's start. Uh, let's talk about Najee, though, man. What do you think of his performance? Fine. It's going back to like those first four weeks where I think it's more of the offensive line taking a slight mm-hmm. regression. Well, we talked about off the mic, though, maybe their defensive line was a little bit better than we uh, give them credit for. At least with like Akeem Hicks and then Robert Quinn. Mm-hmm. That's more me, though. You were yeah. you were higher on Quinn than I was. And that boy Roquan Smith. Low. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, those that was probably another bad take right there those, by me. Those dudes <laughs> right there, man. It's just like they fly around. But, um, I agree though. In terms of Najee, I did feel like it was kind of like those first couple weeks. He was it wasn't a knock on him because no. he was still he was running hard and he still made some plays, right. especially early on. But the way that they were able to control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball, to me, that was the the a little bit of the deciding factor in terms of how they were able to be so successful on both sides because even their old line protected a lot better than I thought they would, even though we were still getting our sacks and stuff. Right. Phil's just still having time. I did not expect him to have that type of time. I was like, yo, what is this? This is not cool. But um, when I thought of Najee though, man, I, I would have liked to see them use him a little bit more in the passing game. Right. Because I felt like early on in, in the season when the running game hasn't been as good as they, you know, as we wanted it to be, that's the alternative. We're going to start getting to him out the backfield, let him be an impact player. We really didn't see a lot of that. I did like the commitment though. 22 t- uh 22 carries. And a lot of those, I mean a good it's amount was 2.8 yards a carry. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we don't ask for how these, many yards. These just, are these are Trent Richardson lines listen, out I, here. I, I just like the fact that they were committed to him. They right. were committed. 22 <laughs> and some of them were under center and that was the other thing that was highlighted a little bit last night, but um when you're running it under center, man, it just it helps out a lot in terms of your disguise in terms of just as a whole, the operation of it and the strain it puts on the defense. Now, granted, the second half of the defense, especially that D-line, just said, all right, we're just going to kick y'all butt up front. We don't care where he's lined up at. And that kind of changed things. But to me, man, the O-line, just ha- they got to pick it up a little bit more. They got to yeah. pick it up because that will help out Najee and keep him <laughs> going where he's supposed to go. Because, yeah, even though his numbers were down yesterday, I don't think it was a down performance by him. No, maybe a little wake-up call because I still think what the line did yesterday mm-hmm. – was improved from those first, what, two to three weeks, yeah. four weeks at least. Yeah. It, it wasn't what it was against the Browns. It wasn't yeah. what it has been these last couple of weeks. But maybe just a little wake-up call, get things well, right. And I'll say this too, man. When people hear Khalil Mack is out, they instantly think Bears D-line, their front seven is going to be bad. And that's not the case. They have good players. They just didn't have another superstar up there. Whereas, like, we talk, we got TJ and we have Cam. So now when you talk about Highsmith, it's like, man, if that's the third guy out there, it's like, man, you're sitting pretty right now. Whereas for the Bears, they didn't have that. But Robert Quinn is still a really good player. You talk about Akeem. He's a really good player. We said with Robert uh, uh, Roquan Smith, yeah. really good player. And all three of those dudes we saw throughout the game make timely plays and really keep them and keep Najee at bay. So even though, like you said, you don't have the name of Khalil Mack, you still had good players out there. So I didn't think of it as necessarily the O-line took a step back or played bad. I just thought that this was a a bump up in competition because as I've talked about Miles Garrett before, and I say, yo, Miles is a really good player. Like he's an elite player. He gets after the quarterback. To me, though, I don't think he plays as hard as Robert Quinn plays, play in and play out. You look at the speed that Robert plays with. Now, granted, they're different in terms of their body makeup and stuff like that. But to me, I just feel like Robert plays with like a little bit extra motor. And that is what causes Dan to struggle a little bit, especially at the end of those plays when he's having to turn the corner with guys. But it was good to at least see Dan keep fighting. Just kept fighting. Stay in the fight, baby. Just stay in the fight. Make the block when you need to make the block. Just stay in the fight, though. Whatever you do, man. He's been battling all season. Hey, stay in the fight, man. And I'm with you on those nausea passes out the backfield. I would have liked to see a few more because some of those short passes, I remember seeing one of them mm-hmm. to Kevin Radar. I said, what the hell are we doing? Like, if you're going to dump it off short, why don't we get it to, like, Najee Harris or, like, even Brad Fryermuth? Yeah. Someone that could make the dude I, I, miss. Shout, shout out to Kevin, man. That's just part of my uh, – he, 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 he was with us doing the youth football camps, man. Okay. Yeah, Good so, for so, him. so it's all love. It's all love. Good for him. It's all love. <laughs> I, I, didn't even, I even thought that was on a – I don't know if it was a second and short or a third and short nah, where the, the first about, down was literally yeah. only two or three yards away. Yeah. Okay, so I get the play. Yeah, throw it short mm-hmm. and see if your dude can make a play one-on-one. Yeah, like, why is it him? Yeah. It should not have been him. Throw it to Najee. You're right. Uh, there, there wasn't enough in the passing game. I wanted to see him featured a lot more there. When the running game isn't available, go to Najee out the backfield, throwing it to him because he's still going to create mismatches. Him in space, 
him just every single play, the load that it takes trying to tackle him, it wears you down, you know? So when you see them not going to him, that was the part where it's like, man, come on, baby. We could can, we can be more effective here. It's time to talk about Manscaped and Deke. They got new heat for us today, Deke. Really? Deke, they got something new for the for the people out here, for the culture. No way. Uh-oh. Can, can I, is it okay? Can I get a sec? Tell me more. Well, Deke, <clears throat> there comes a time in everyone's life where you got to wash your hair. Yeah. You need shampoo. I'd say but so. But you might need some conditioner as well. I mean, I know you you know, got long, long, flowing locks. I got my hair as well. Need to keep the hair hydrated. Manscaped, bro. We just dropped it. Two in one. Shampoo and conditioner. I mean, it's like, uh, shampoo, uh, conditioner. This is awesome. But wait, there's more. No way. Bro, you can't just wash your hair, right? You can't just shampoo and condition your hair. What about the rest of your body? You know what I mean? What about your, your Gotta private keep that parts? Clean. You, you might want to wash your legs. You, are you, a, you might be a feet washer. You might want to wash your feet when you're in the shower. They got body wash now. We got Manscaped body wash, ladies and gentlemen. What are we talking about? So your hair can be shampooed and conditioned. Your body can be properly washed, smelling like how it needs to smell. Wait, there's one more thing? It's one more. Just one more, Deke. Deke, come on, man. You you know how they do. When when Manscaped does it, they do it right. Right. They're refined now. They even got cologne, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's what Manscaped is on. That's what they are doing. And when you make your purchase, if you use the promo code, ma 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 modes, you will receive 20% off plus free shipping man like i said awesome situation awesome scenario but this is what manscape is doing this is what the people needed you yeah. need body wash you need your hair smelling fresh and they got you covered baby so take it from us experts up here and use that promo code shout out to manscape your delicate twins and your friends will thank you 